Dr. Louis Cavusi is here now giving the Ramon Gutierrez Lecture. It is my pleasure. Thank you guys for having me here. And this is all about the complicated decisions required to eliminate these never events. So I think first, we need to define what is a never event. A never event is an adverse, a severe adverse event that occurs to a patient. It's unambiguous what is the cause. It is something that could have been preventable. And it is related to some sort of operational issue related either to the surgery or to their care in the healthcare facility. The most uh, egregious never events are things such as wrong-sided surgery, taking out the wrong kidney, uh, operating on the wrong organ, operating on the wrong patient, things that fall into that category. What are the decisions that can be made to eliminate these never events? The examples I gave were um, very apparent, very egregious. What is happening with never events is that there is an evolution. So things that were so severe, like what I mentioned earlier, it is evolving to other complications, being looked at, looked at other complications, things that we wouldn't necessarily think as preventable. And some examples that this may be going towards, it's not there yet, but things like um, uh, bleeding after a surgery, requiring a post-operative transfusion, a return to the operating room, those kind of things which right now are accepted as part, of, part and partial to doing the business of surgery. I think with advances in technology, with advantage in how we practice medicine, practice urology, those are something that we can tackle. So after listening, what do you hope attendees take away from your lecture? The first thing I hope is that they don't hate me because I'm going to say several things which are uncomfortable in terms of the current way we practice. Right now in urology, especially here in the United States, um, when we get our board certification, we're boarded to do A to Z in terms of urology. But in reality, um, there are things that we don't do very often. And there are specialty things, like for example, doing a cystectomy is a very challenging operation, difficult operation. And just because I'm boarded in it, I shouldn't be doing it. However, there are people out there who in their minds, well, I trained in it, I could do it, I should do it. And there's very good data to show the complication rate and the problem rates are higher for those individuals. So there is gonna have to be a shift, either a voluntary shift or eventually a government or other agencies will get involved and change it for it. So we have to be the drivers of that change. Dr. Cavusi, we appreciate your time. Thank you. You are so kind. Thank you very much and have a great meeting.